This is another throwback from May 26, 2019, when Don Campbell invited me out to dive the GB Church off his beautiful boat. It was Don, Yap, Nick, Jamie, and I diving, while Don's wife Penny was on board while we were in the water. We taught off our dive float to the wreck and did some free immersion to conserve energy and increase our bottom times. We lucked out that day and had some beautiful weather, minimal current, and some decent visibility. The GB Church, originally named Sirium, is a 175-foot steel vessel that was designed as a munitions carrier and participated in the Second World War. It's located beside Moresby Passage in the Gulf Islands, very close to the Swartz Bay Ferry Terminal. It sits upright in roughly 85 feet of water, depending on the tide. The top of the mast can be as shallow as 13 feet and the bow as shallow as 50, so this wreck is relatively accessible to recreationally free dive. GB Church was sank in August 1991 and was the Artificial Reef Society of BC's first project. This project paved the way for larger and more complex naval artificial reef projects that were to follow, like the Boeing 737 that was sank in the Stewart Channel off Shimanus, BC. My dad used to fly that exact airplane between 1981 and 1992, so I'm excited to check it out one day. GB Church is located within a rockfish conservation area, so it's full of life. Plumas and enemies cover the entire ship, and rockfish can be seen all over the place. I did not encounter any during this dive, but I hear it's not uncommon to find wolf eel, octopus, and small sharks. Just by watching this footage, I can tell my dive technique has since improved greatly. I'm excited to get back to this wreck so I can dive a bit deeper and explore a bit further. As we were diving, the current slowly started to pick up and the visibility started to deteriorate. Eventually, diving became too much of a challenge, so we called it a day. Thanks Don for the memories, it was a trip to remember. <laughs>